how's it going? Pull up the seat and come on in the cabin. It's your girl Shamar. Um, I told you guys this week was going to be a bit of an eventful week for me. And it really was. Um, and I'm probably preaching to the choir, right? Because we're all, you know, um, trying to do the best we can with what we got, which is a little bit of time for ourselves, right? I know, speaking for myself, um, I literally got in. I, I left for work yesterday at 5 a.m., and I got home today at 5 a.m. You know, that wasn't supposed to happen to me, but unfortunately, um, my son goes to uh, do his summer vacation visits, and I have to kind of coordinate that time with somebody else's time. And y'all know how difficult is it to get two people in the same room right now, right? So, unfortunately, spent some time out in uh, out in the city of Phoenix last night, uh, which is a good distance from where I'm at. So. It was really funny to leave yesterday at 5 a.m. and see the sky the way it looked and to literally come home today at 5 a.m. So needless to say, guys, I um, that did not leave me a lot of time to work on an episode for us this week. Um, and, and actually, I did have um, some things I was studying that I'll, I'll just show you guys really briefly to kind of bring you guys up to speed as to what we can expect to be doing next week, right? Um, we're still keeping uh, Solomon on the backlog, right? We haven't forgotten him because it's very critical that we um, touch that subject, right? But for right now, I like to uh, deal with the front lines baby, right? Which I, you know, the front lines baby to me is this Y deaf. It's our mother's mighty mitochondria. It's a lot going on with that alone, right? So I wanted to uh, touch base this week with that as a subject uh, because I see uh, a war going on. Now, I know I call it, I, I just said I see it, right? But I don't, I don't see it with my physical eyes. You know, I just feel like I've been made aware of it thanks to the Torah, right? And you guys have been on this study with me, thanks to Genesis 3, right? Um, we know that the Creator has, one, determined that Eve is an easer, uh, which is not a passive, uh, barefoot, pregnant, in the kitchen sounding role, right? We can all agree on that. And one day we'll do a study deeper into... Uh, the function of an easer, right? And we'll look into the Torah and see how it's been used in the Torah. And then we'll make our own judgment call over here, right? On the front line as to what it sounds like is trying to portray woman as, okay? Uh, Eve becomes the mother of all the living right here, right? Genesis 3 and 20, guys. Um, Y'all remember the scripture, uh, I just like to go to it every so often because this is our baby over here on the front line. Uh, we know that genetically uh, Eve was gifted. And we know that genetically uh, Adam is suffering from the punishment of the Y death. So, guys, I want us to, next week, I told you guys that if I find myself too tired this week, um, I will forego a study, but at least check in with you guys, right? So that's actually what I'm doing this week. I'm going to forego a study this week because I like to have my thoughts, you know, processed right and Guys, I probably, I, and I know I'm preaching to somebody right now out there, not preaching literally, but I'm um, just using the term to say preaching to the choir, right? I know I'm speaking to somebody out there who 
just like me, who's probably not gotten a whole lot of sleep, but, you know, just trying to be dedicated to this study and this truth, right? So thank you for being that person and tuning in. I'm going to give us both a break off this week, but I want to show you guys really briefly um, some of the things we're going to check into next week, right? I want to call it the unseen war, right, guys? Because if you ask me some of the things that I've uncovered genetically, uh, I hope y'all don't hear me swatting flies in the background. My screen opened a little bit and they just came in and Ah, uh, I just don't like flies, God. I've got a problem with flies, so let's get rid of them. Okay, let me get back to what I was saying. Um, I see something going on genetically that I was not aware of, right? Um, and that we're uncovering over here on the front line together. We're on our journey. We're looking up some of the words of conception. We're paying attention to uh, some of the epigenetic terms and we're learning about the function of the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, right? So we are doing a really good dive over here to understand like what took place uh, when the creator uh, said the things that were said as far as enmity between the seed lines. And we're paying attention to her seed, right, guys? Because that's what Torah says. Not because Shamar is a woman and Shamar wants to shed light on femininity. No. Shamar wants to shed light on, sorry, shed light on what's in the Torah, what, what's what been in the Torah, and what, for whatever reason, was not observed by anybody else's eyes. But... On the front line, we saw it. We saw that the only person that was made to leave the garden was Adam. We saw that Eve is not, in fact, to blame, that the serpent is blamed. And we see that Eve is the mother, in fact, of the living. I see no account in Torah where she's asked to leave. And we see that actually it's the man that is to return to dust. Because from dust thou art and from dust thou shall return. Right, guys? And so we're not in a fog over here. And now that we have this new information, what we're doing with that new information is exploring different avenues that haven't been touched yet. You know, uh, what did that, why, da- what did that, what did that uh, punishment to Adam look like, right? And we've established that it is linked to the Y chromosome, right, guys? So next week, I want to talk more about some specific disorders that impact the Y chromosome as a result of um, Adam's uh, disobedience, you know, uh, disobedience, let's say that. It's a better way of putting that. But uh, I have some articles that I want to share with you guys that specifically look at those two chromosomes that we have um, between the sexes. Uh, That would be the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. So next week, I want us to look into these chromosomes and see what the difference is genetically. And are we fighting an unseen war Uh, as it would have it? Is is this where the enmity is taking place? Is it on a cellular level as well as what we see with our eyes? Right, guys? Because we know that a lot of time, a lot of times when you read, uh, the Torah, that it's uh, multiple meaning. I don't know how to put that. Um, I've heard people say there's dual duality or dual meaning. I don't like to use certain words that I feel may be associated with any any type of cult fanaticism or anything like that. So I stay far away from those words. But what I'll tell you is I can see what I can see what they're trying to say. Let's just say that. I hope I'm making sense because God knows I'm so tired, guys, but I want to check in with you guys. I want to make sure everybody had a great week. I want you guys excited and ready to pull up a chair and come on in the cabin next week. And let's cover up a new subject of, uh, of which I want to call the unseen war, guys. I want to talk about 
the war that I believe is being fought with that within ourselves, guys, at a very biological level, okay? And uh, as well as some of what we see outside, right? But other people are covering what we're seeing with our physical eyes, right? So I don't need to cover these things. Um, what we do need to discuss is what we're not seeing with, um, with our fit, with our, within our bodies. Sorry. What we're not seeing within ourselves, there is a war taking place, and uh, pretty soon, someone has to come out on top, guys. This is according to Torah. This is not Shamar. I keep wanting people to remember that, that I'm bringing out things that are in the Torah. So if you're, if you're upset or if you're not, if it's not jiving with you, um, then you may very well be upset with Torah because um, this is where I'm finding these things. So I thank you guys for being on board with this journey and Next week, I want us to really look at uh, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. And I want to look at the function of each and what it's doing for us and, and how it's lining up with Torah. Okay, guys, that's, uh, that's how we, uh, that's our foundation and we won't stray too far from that, right? Um, I like to bring in the extra material to support my viewpoint and show you guys where I'm coming from. But it's always going to be rooted in uh, Torah. That's the way we're going over here, okay, guys? So I hope you guys had a great week. And uh, know that I'm going to just be resting today next week. I'm actually going to be, I'm going to be switching departments where I work at, and I'm going to be uh, cloning again, guys. I'm looking forward to that, so I'll be back uh, being a baby mama. I'll be back making, making the babies at the job, and I really enjoy that more. Uh, as of late, I've been doing inventory, which is just accounting for product, and that's really not fun. I don't like really working with the dry product. You know, what I do with that in my spare time is my business. But while I'm at work, I don't like messing with dry product. I prefer to work with the plants. You know, I like talking to them. I like giving them some of that good energy. I'll sing to the plants. You'd be surprised. Me and the plants have a great time in there. So next week I'll be working with the babies. So I'm going to try to get some good rest, guys, so that when I go in there, my energy projects to those plants, right? Uh, so... You know, just be keeping me in your uh, in your positive vibes only uh, energy box, and I'll do the same with you guys. And um, let's meet next week. Let's um, talk about this. Uh, I think I remember telling you guys that in one of the articles that I read that the guy said that uh, the X chromosome accounts for ten percent of your body weight. So. If you are a 200 pound man, you know, 20% of your body weight, you know, is, uh, sorry, 10%, sorry, so that would be 20 pounds, sorry. 20 pounds of your body weight is uh, specifically from your mother. That's a maternal input, okay? That's, uh, I, I have... 16 pounds. No, I'm being generous, guys. I'm not even 160 pounds right now. But we're going to go with that. <laughs> I'm much lighter. I've been moving around a lot. So, okay, so let's just say I have maybe 13 pounds of genetic components right now, genetic material from my mother right now that I count for 10% of my body weight. That is significant. That is... um I think weighs more than your brain. This is me just spitting things out, but I'm pretty confident in that. Uh, that's That makes up a good portion of uh, who and what you are. All right, so next week, let's talk about the differences in uh, the X 
and the Y chromosome and how this is linking up with scripture, how this is linking up with Torah, guys, and what I'm reading and what I'm finding in Torah. Let's talk about it, guys. All right. Uh, I look forward to you guys. And we're just going to keep Solomon on the backlog. But we are going to get to Solomon, guys. We have to. In order for you guys to understand that uh, his father overstood, stepped his bounds by placing him on the throne. Okay, guys. We'll look at some of the the transgressions that he made. And... um, And we'll get into it. All right. So thank you guys for tuning in and checking on me. Even my voice sounds rough. I just have had a rough 24 hours, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and rest. And I hope you guys do the same. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in and um, pulling up a seat on in the cabin and coming to see what I'm doing over here. So uh, next week, we'll go ahead and we'll check out the Unseen War, right? We're going to see the the battle that's being waged between possibly Adam, Eve, and even the serpent, possibly, right? We're just going to do it, guys. All right? I look forward to it. Uh, I'll get a presentation together, and I'll see you guys next week on the front line. Much love, guys. Thank you for pulling up a chair in the cabin. Take care.